does. Verb. Auxiliary. A syntactic marker. Met. Verb. To make contact, with, while in proximity. Magnificent. Adjective. Grand, elegant or splendid in appearance. Extremely. Adverb. Degree, to an extreme degree. Incorrect. Adjective. Not correct. Erroneous or wrong. Emotional. Adjective. Of or relating to the emotions. Humanitarian. Noun. A scholar of one of the subjects in the humanities. Adjective. Relating to humanism or the humanities. Noun. A person concerned with people's welfare. A do-gooder or philanthropist. Adjective. Concerned with people's welfare. And the alleviation of suffering. Compassionate. Humane. Barista. Noun. A person who prepares coffee in a coffee shop for customers. Courier. Noun. A person who looks after and guides tourists. Verb. To deliver by courier. Amazed. Verb. To fill with wonder and surprise. To astonish. Astound. Surprise or perplex. Adjective. Astonished. Confounded with fear. Surprise. Or wonder. Greatly surprised. The following adposition may be. At. With or by. Creep. Verb. To move slowly with the abdomen close to the ground. Addresses. Noun. Direction. Verb. To prepare oneself. Inspires. Verb. To infuse into the mind. To communicate to the spirit. To convey. As by a divine or supernatural influence. To disclose preternaturally. To produce in. As by inspiration. Dino. Noun. Dinosaur. Kingdom. Noun. A realm having a king and or queen as its actual or nominal sovereign. Neighbor. Noun. A person living on adjacent or nearby land. A person situated adjacently or nearby. Anything. Of the same type of thing as the subject. In an adjacent or nearby position. Verb. To be adjacent to. Divorce. Noun. The legal dissolution of a marriage. Verb. To legally dissolve a marriage between two people. Disgrace. Noun. The condition of being out of favor. Loss of favor. Regard. Or respect. Verb. To put someone out of favor. To bring shame or ignominy upon. All. Noun. With a possessive pronoun. Everything that one is capable of. Adjective. All gone. Dead. Adverb. Degree. Intensifier. Pronoun. Everything. Conjunction. Although. Cappuccino. Noun. An Italian coffee-based beverage made from espresso and milk that has been steamed and or frothed. Fighter. Noun. A person who fights. A combatant. Anyway. Adverb. Regardless. Anyhow. Gynecologist. Noun. A physician specializing in diseases of the female reproductive system. Desert. Noun. Usually in the plural. That which is deserved or merited. A just punishment or reward. Exact. Verb. To demand and enforce the payment or performance of. Sometimes in a forcible or imperious way. Adjective. Precisely agreeing with a standard. A fact. Or the truth. Perfectly conforming. Neither exceeding nor falling short in any respect. Adverb. Exactly. Need. Noun. A requirement for something. Something needed. Imposed. Verb. To establish or apply by authority. Congenital. Adjective. Of a trait or a disease. Present since birth. Grandma. Noun. Grandmother. Created. Verb. To bring into existence. Sometimes in particular smiley face. Equipment. Noun. The act of equipping, or the state of being equipped, as for a voyage or expedition. Gasoline. Noun. A flammable liquid consisting of a mixture of refined petroleum hydrocarbons. Mainly used as a motor fuel. Petrol. Adjective. Made from or using gasoline. Experiments. Noun. A test under controlled conditions made to either demonstrate a known truth. Examine the validity of a hypothesis. 
or determine the efficacy of something previously untried. Verb. To conduct an experiment. Derive. Verb. To obtain or receive something from something else. Completion. Noun. The act or state of being or making something complete. Conclusion. Accomplishment. Book. Noun. A collection of sheets of paper bound together to hinge at one edge. Containing printed or written material. Pictures. Etc. Deep. Noun. With the. The deep part of a lake. Sea. Etc. Adjective. Of a physical distance. Extending far away from a point of reference. Especially downwards. Adverb. Deeply. Defense. Noun. The action of defending or protecting from attack, danger, or injury. Fraud. Noun. The crime of stealing or otherwise illegally obtaining money by use of deception tactics. Verb. To defraud. Allergic. Noun. A person with a tendency to having allergies. A person with multiple or severe allergies. Adjective. Of or pertaining to allergy. Finger. Noun. A slender jointed extremity of the human hand. Exclusive of the thumb. Verb. To identify or point out. Also put the finger on. To report to or identify for the authorities. Rat on. Rat out. Squeal on. Tattle on. Turn in. Architects. Noun. A professional who designs buildings or other structures. Or who prepares plans and superintends construction. Verb. To design. Plan. Or orchestrate. Activist. Noun. One who is politically active in the role of a citizen. Especially. One who campaigns for change. Adjective. Behaving as an activist. Analytical. Adjective, of or pertaining to analysis. Resolving into elements or constituent parts. Divorce. Noun. The legal dissolution of a marriage. Verb. To legally dissolve a marriage between two people. Flights. Noun. The act of flying. Verb. Of a spin bowler. To throw the ball in such a way that it has more airtime and more spin than usual. Noun. The act of fleeing. Flu. Noun. Chiefly plural. The thick. Dangling upper lip of certain breeds of dog. Or the canine equivalent of the upper lip. Celebrity. Noun. A rite or ceremony. Fixed. Verb. To pierce. Now generally replaced by transfix. Adjective. Not changing. Not able to be changed. Staying the same. Midday. Noun. Noon. Twelve o'clock during the day. Launch. Noun. The movement of a vessel from land into the water. Especially. The sliding on ways from the stocks on which it is built. Compare. To splash a ship. Verb. To throw. A projectile such as a lance. Dart or ball. To hurl. To propel with force. Ah. Noun. A feeling of fear and reverence. Verb. To inspire fear and reverence in. An. Numeral. 1. Caretaker. Noun. Someone who takes care of a place or thing. Someone looking after a place. Or responsible for keeping it in good repair. Adjective. Temporary. On a short-term basis. Completing. Verb. To finish. To make done. To reach the end. Interested. Verb. To engage the attention of. To awaken interest in. To excite emotion or passion in. In behalf of a person or thing. Adjective. Having or showing interest. Immense. Noun. Immense extent or expanse. Immensity. Adjective. Huge. Gigantic. Very large. Issues. Noun. The action or an instance of flowing or coming out. An outflow. Particularly. Verb. To flow out. To proceed from. To come out or from. Hospital. Noun. A large medical facility. Usually in a building with multiple floors. Where seriously ill or injured patients are given extensive medical and or surgical treatment. Adjective. Hospitable. Engine. Noun. A large construction used in warfare. Such as a battering ram. Catapult etc. Verb. 
to equip with an engine, said especially of steam vessels. Completion. Noun. The act or state of being or making something complete. Conclusion. Accomplishment. Drummer. Noun. One who plays the drums. Columnist. Noun. A regular writer of a column, such as in a magazine or newspaper. Journalists. Noun. The keeper of a personal journal, who writes in it regularly. Collector. Noun. A person who or thing that collects, or which creates or manages a collection. Illustrate. Verb. To shed light upon. Brush stroke. Noun. The stroke of a brush, as in painting. Borrow. Noun. Deviation of the path of a rolling ball from a straight line. Slope. Slant. Verb. To receive. Something. From somebody temporarily. Expecting to return it. Fixing. Verb. To pierce. Now generally replaced by transfix. Noun. The act of subverting. Fixing. A vote. Fighter. Noun. A person who fights. A combatant. Cereal. Noun. A type of grass, such as wheat, rice or oats, cultivated for its edible grains. Conscientious. Adjective. Thorough. Careful, or vigilant in one's task performance. Another. Pronoun. An additional one of the same kind. Bottle. Noun. A container. Typically made of glass or plastic and having a tapered neck. Used primarily for holding liquids. Verb. To seal. A liquid. Into a bottle for later consumption. Also fig. Fridge. Noun. A refrigerator. Verb. To place inside of a refrigerator. Dress. Noun. An item of clothing. Usually worn by a woman or young girl. Which both covers the upper part of the body and includes skirts below the waist. Verb. To fit out with the necessary clothing. To clothe. Put clothes on. Something or someone. Fashionable. Noun. A fashionable person. A fop. Adjective. Characteristic of or influenced by a current popular trend or style. Creature. Noun. A living being. An animal or, sometimes derogatory, a human. Colonel. Noun. A commissioned officer in an armed military organization. Typically the highest rank before flag officer ranks. Generals. It is generally found in armies. Air forces or naval infantry. Marines. Verb. To act as or like a colonel. Blushed. Verb. To become red in the face. And sometimes experience an associated feeling of warmth. Especially due to shyness. Shame. Excitement. Or embarrassment. Continually. Adverb, in a continual manner, non-stop. Mice. Noun, any small rodent of the genus Muse. Nightmare. Noun, a demon or monster, thought to plague people while they slept and cause a feeling of suffocation and terror during sleep. Address. Noun, direction. Verb, to prepare oneself. Marry. Verb, to enter into the conjugal or connubial state. To take a husband or a wife. Manages. Verb. To direct or be in charge of. Mayonnaise. Noun. A dressing made from vegetable oil. Raw egg yolks and seasoning. Used on salads. With french fries. In sandwiches etc. Compromise. Noun. The settlement of differences by arbitration or by consent reached by mutual concessions. Verb. To bind by mutual agreement. Modes. Noun. One of several ancient Greek scales. Noun. Style or fashion. Popular trend. Ideal. Noun. A perfect standard of beauty. Intellect etc. Or a standard of excellence to aim at. Adjective. Optimal. Being the best possibility. Athletic. Adjective. Having to do with athletes. Fond. Verb. To have a foolish affection for. To be fond of. Adjective. Chiefly with of. Having a liking or affection. For. Blocked. Verb. To fill. Something. So that it is not possible to pass. Adjective. Obstructed impeding general movement. Extroverted. 
adjective, turned or thrust outwards, especially. Meditation. Noun, a devotional exercise of, or leading to contemplation. Comfortable. Noun, a stuffed or quilted coverlet for a bed. A comforter. Adjective, providing physical comfort and ease. Agreeable. Chance. Noun, an opportunity or possibility. Adjective, happening by chance. Casual. Adverb, perchance. Perhaps. Earliest. Adjective, at a time in advance of the usual or expected event. Adverb, at a time before expected. Sooner than usual. Grew. Verb, to become larger, to increase in magnitude. Collected. Verb, to gather together. Amass. Adjective, gathered together. Blows. Noun, a strong wind. Verb, to produce an air current. Noun, the act of striking or hitting. Noun, a mass or display of flowers. A yield. Verb, to blossom. To cause to bloom or blossom. Majority. Noun, more than half, 50% of some group. Blocks. Noun, a substantial, often approximately cuboid, piece of any substance. Verb, to fill, something, so that it is not possible to pass. Crazy. Noun, an insane or eccentric person. A crackpot. Adjective, flawed or damaged, unsound, liable to break apart. Ramshackle. Adverb. Very. Extremely. Interval. Noun. A distance in space. Flow. Noun. A movement in people or things with a particular way in large numbers or amounts. Verb. To move as a fluid from one position to another. Chic. Noun. Good form. Style. Adjective. Elegant. Stylish. Goldsmith. Noun. A person who makes, repairs or sells things out of gold, especially jewelry. Converter. Noun, a person or thing that converts. Certainly. Adverb, in a way which is certain, with certainty. Come down with. Verb, to contract or get, an illness, to show symptoms of. Liquids. Noun, a substance that is flowing. And keeping no shape, such as water. A substance of which the molecules, while not tending to separate from one another like those of a gas, readily change their relative position, and which therefore retains no definite shape, except that determined by the containing receptacle, an inelastic fluid, mistake, noun, an error, a blunder, verb, to understand wrongly, taking one thing or person for another, consuming. Verb. To use up. Noun. Consumption. The process by which something is consumed. Adjective. Holding one's attention or interest. Likes. Noun. Usually in the plural. Something that a person likes. Prefers. Verb. To enjoy. Be pleased by. Favor. Be in favor of. Noun. Sometimes as the likes of. Someone similar to a given person or something similar to a given object. A comparative. A type. A sort. Verb. To be likely. Convinced. Verb. To make someone believe, or feel sure about something. Especially by using logic, argument or evidence. Adjective. In a state of believing. Especially from evidence but not necessarily. Flawless. Adjective. Without flaws, defects, or shortcomings perfect. Felt. Noun. A cloth or stuff made of matted fibers of wool. Or wool and fur. Fold or wrought into a compact substance by rolling in pressure. With lees or size. Without spinning or weaving. Verb. To make into felt. Or a felt-like substance. To cause to adhere and mat together. Arbitrator. Noun. A person to whom the authority to settle or judge a dispute is delegated. Gestures. Noun. A motion of the limbs or body. Especially one made to emphasize speech. Verb. To make a gesture or gestures. Automatic. Noun. A car with automatic transmission. Adjective. Capable of operating without external control or intervention. 
changed. Verb, to become something different. Advise. Verb, to give advice to. To offer an opinion to, as worthy or expedient to be followed. Abuse. Noun. Improper treatment or usage. Application to a wrong or bad purpose. An unjust. Corrupt or wrongful practice or custom. Divine. Noun. One skilled in divinity. A theologian. Adjective, of or pertaining to a god. Facilities. Noun. Facilities for urination and defecation. A toilet. A lavatory. Noun. The fact of being easy. Or easily done. Absence of difficulty. Simplicity. Bigger. Adjective, of great size, large. Verb, to make or become bigger. Lacking. Verb, to be without. To need. To require. Noun, the absence of something. A lack. Adjective, missing or not having enough of. A good quality. Etc. Announcing. Verb, to give public notice, especially for the first time. To make known. Hire. Noun. Payment for the temporary use of something. Hidden. Adjective. Located or positioned out of sight. Not visually apparent. Verb. To put. Something. In a place where it will be harder to discover or out of sight. Funds. Noun. A sum or source of money. Verb. To pay for. Creep. Verb. To move slowly with the abdomen close to the ground. Dance. Noun. A sequence of rhythmic steps or movements usually performed to music. For pleasure or as a form of social interaction. Verb. To move with rhythmic steps or movements. Especially in time to music. Charming. Verb. To seduce. Persuade or fascinate someone or something. Noun. The casting of a magical charm. Adjective. Pleasant. Charismatic. March. Noun. A formal. Rhythmic way of walking, used especially by soldiers, bands and in ceremonies. Verb. To walk with long, regular strides, as a soldier does. Help. Noun. Action given to provide assistance. Aid. Gun. Noun. A device for projecting a hard object very forcefully. A firearm or cannon. Verb. With. Down. To shoot someone or something usually with a firearm. Explosion. Noun. A violent release of energy, sometimes mechanical, nuclear, or chemical. Ceiling. Verb. To line or finish. A surface, such as a wall, with plaster, stucco, thin boards, or similar. Noun. The overhead closure of a room. Gather. Noun. A play or fold in cloth. Made by drawing a thread through it. A pucker. Verb. To collect. Normally separate things. Highest. Adjective. Very elevated. Extending or being far above a base. Tall. Lofty. Adverb. In or to an elevated position. Fight. Verb. To contend in physical conflict, either singly or in war, battle etc. Fees. Noun. Feudal law. A right to the use of a superior's land. As a stipend for services to be performed. Also. The land so held. A fief. Verb. To reward for services performed. Or to be performed. To recompense. To hire or keep in hire. Hence. To bribe. Breathtaking. Adjective. Stunningly beautiful. Amazing. Good. Adjective. Of people. Interjection. That is good. An elliptical exclamation of satisfaction or commendation. Accountability. Noun. The state of being accountable. Liability to be called on to render an account. Accountableness. Responsible for. Answerable for. Chirping. Verb. To make a short. Sharp. Cheerful note. As of small birds or crickets. Noun. Gerund of chirp. An instance of chirping. Durability. Noun. Permanence by virtue of the power to resist stress or force. Law. Noun. The body of binding rules and regulations. Customs and standards established in a community by its legislative and judicial authorities. Verb. 
to work as a lawyer, to practice law, agreed, verb, to harmonize in opinion, statement, or action, to be in unison or concord, to be or become united or consistent, to concur, adjective, in harmony, interjection, indicates agreement on the part of the speaker, gesture, noun, a motion of the limbs or body, especially one made to emphasize speech, verb, to make a gesture or gestures, installer, noun, one who installs, inappropriate, adjective, not appropriate, not suitable for the situation, time, or place, expense, noun, a spending or consuming, often a disbursement of funds, verb, to charge a cost against an expense account, to bill something to the company for which one works, gang, verb, to go, walk, proceed, golfer, noun, someone who plays golf, log, noun, the trunk of a dead tree, cleared of branches, verb, to cut trees into logs, bird watching, noun, observing or identifying wild birds in their natural environment, lecture, noun, a spoken lesson or exposition, usually delivered to a group, verb, to teach, somebody, by giving a speech on a given topic, enrichment, noun, the act of enriching or something enriched, maintain, verb, to support, someone, to back up or assist, someone, in an action, cafe, noun, a convenience store, originally one that sold coffee and similar basic items, noun, a coffee shop, an establishment selling coffee and sometimes other non-alcoholic beverages, simple meals or snacks, with a facility to consume them on the premises, bow, noun, a weapon made of a curved piece of wood or other flexible material whose ends are connected by a string, used for shooting arrows, verb, to play music on, a stringed, instrument using a bow, directory, noun, a list of names, addresses etc., of specific classes of people or organizations, often in alphabetical order or in some classification, adjective, containing directions, instructing, directorial, nauseous, adjective, causing nausea, sickening or disgusting, honor, noun, recognition of importance or value, respect, veneration, of someone, usually for being morally upright or successful, verb, to think of highly, to respect highly, to show respect for, to recognize the importance or spiritual value of, feeling, verb, heading, to use or experience the sense of touch, noun, sensation, particularly through the skin, adjective, emotionally sensitive, beautician, noun, one who does hair styling, manicures, and other beauty treatments. Fill. Verb. To occupy fully, to take up all of. Cons. Noun. A disadvantage of something, especially when contrasted with its advantages. Pros. Noun. A convicted criminal. A convict. Noun. A fraud. Something carried out with the intention of deceiving. Usually for personal often illegal, gain, noun, an organized gathering such as a convention, conference or congress, noun, the conversion of part of a building, accurate, adjective, telling the truth or giving a true result, exact, not defective or faulty, diagram, noun, a plan, drawing, sketch or outline to show how something works, or show the relationships between the parts of a whole, Verb. To represent or indicate something using a diagram. Liner. Noun. Someone who fits a lining to something. Graduate. Noun. A person who is recognized by a university as having completed the requirements of a degree studied. At the institution. Verb. To be recognized by a school or university as having completed the requirements of a degree studied. At the institution. Adjective graduated, arranged by degrees, neighbor, noun, a person living on adjacent or nearby land, 
a person situated adjacently or nearby, anything of the same type of thing as the subject, in an adjacent or nearby position, verb, to be adjacent to, gathering, noun, a meeting or get-together, a party or social function, coral, noun, a hard substance made of the limestone skeletons of marine polyps, adjective, made of coral, deployed, verb, to prepare and arrange, usually military unit or units, for use. Inconsistent. Adjective. Not consistent. Meal. Noun. Food that is prepared and eaten. Usually at a specific time. And usually in a comparatively large quantity. As opposed to a snack. Method. Noun. A process by which a task is completed. A way of doing something. Followed by the adposition of. To or for before the purpose of the process. Verb. To apply a method. Investigate. Verb. To inquire into or study in order to ascertain facts or information. Lacking. Verb. To be without. To need. To require. Noun. The absence of something. A lack. Adjective. Missing or not having enough of. A good quality. Etc. R. Noun. An accepted. But deprecated and rarely used. SI unit of area equal to 100 square meters. Or a former unit of approximately the same extent. Symbol. A. Liver. Noun. A large organ in the body that stores and metabolizes nutrients. Destroys toxins and produces bile. It is responsible for thousands of biochemical reactions. Adjective. Of the color of liver. Dark brown. Tinted with red and gray. Become. Verb, to arrive, come, to a place. Maths. Noun. An abstract representational system used in the study of numbers. Shapes. Structure. Change in the relationships between these concepts. Hands. Noun. The part of the forelimb below the forearm or wrist in a human. And the corresponding part in many other animals. Verb. To give, pass, or transmit with the hand literally or figuratively. Applications. Noun. The act of applying or laying on, in a literal sense. Benefits. Noun. An advantage. Help or aid from something. Verb. To be or to provide a benefit to. Muttering. Verb. To utter words. Especially complaints or angry expressions. Indistinctly or with a low voice and lips partly closed. To say under one's breath. Noun. Something that is muttered. Activism. Noun. The practice of using action to achieve a result. Such as political demonstration or a strike in support of or in opposition to an issue. Myself. Pronoun. Reflexive pronoun. Me. As direct or indirect object the speaker as the object of a verb or preposition. When the speaker is also the subject. Funding. Verb. To pay for. Noun. The action of the verb fun. Notebooks. Noun. A book in which notes or memoranda are written. Backyard. Noun. A yard to the rear of a house or similar residence. Extract. Noun. Something that is extracted or drawn out. Verb. To draw out. To pull out. To remove forcibly from a fixed position. As by traction or suction. Etc. Fall to. Verb. To enter into or begin an activity. Especially with enthusiasm or commitment and especially in regard to the activities of eating or. Drinking. Logs. Noun. The trunk of a dead tree. Clear to branches. Verb. To cut trees into logs. Noun. A log book. Or journal of a vessel. Or aircraft. S. Progress. Verb. To make. To add an entry. Or more. In a log or logbook. Verb. To move to and fro. To rock. Noun. A Hebrew unit of liquid volume. About one third liter. Noun. Logarithm.